the discourse like from the other side in the Philippines is there a is there any I mean this this could be completely off base but is there any kind of interest in becoming a, a part of the United States is all the focus on independence how do people react to you know kind of Wilson and I know you know the racism uh, is probably fairly obfuscated but you know Wilsonianism uh, and, and the idea of national determination what what's the sort of response uh, and i don't know if it's possible to even say it, it, what what the response is at like a popular level versus kind of elites or intellectuals but but to you know whatever extent we know that that would be uh, interesting as well yeah so during the taft era initially the most prominent party in the philippines was a party called the partido federal and these were the the first set of collaborators with American imperialism, and they believed that the Philippines should eventually become part of the United States or a state of the U.S. This was not actually initially such a controversial policy to have or to promote, because that's effectively what Filipinos were demanding from Spain. They wanted representation in the Spanish Cortes. So it was just a continuation of that advocacy. But that shifted when, in 1907, the United States created the Philippine Assembly, which is which was effectively the lower house of representatives in the Philippines, what would become our lower house of representatives. And that required local election of local officials. And many local officials, as, as a result of that, of, of these elections, they started to use nationalism as a way to distinguish themselves from the elite and Manila-based Partido Federal. And it was in that context that the Nationalista Party emerged. Um, so by the time you get to Wilson, the Partido Federal is out of the picture, and the Nationalista Party is the dominant party in the Philippines at that time. And it's headed by, by two people, Manuel Quezon, who eventually becomes the president of the Philippine Commonwealth, and Sergio Osmeña, who's a who's Cebuano. And they're and they're the best of allies, but they're also the best of enemies. Like they're 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 you know, the the greatest frenemies in Philippine history. So they're dominant at this time. And I might say um what's interesting, just as a kind of side note, because I'm interested in this. The Partido Nacionalista becomes hegemonic at the expense of labor. So there are many instances during this period where a kind of Partido Obrero or labor, where people start want to create a Partido Obrero or strengthen a Partido Obrero, create their own labor party. And Quezon was eff effectively able to tamp these efforts down because his logic was this. Rather than create a labor party, just join the Nacionalista Party because if you get independence, then that will take care of labor problems. That leads directly into my next question, which is what is the ideology of this nationalist party? Because uh, as you know, the historiography, we get this big fight in the late teens between Wilsonianism and Leninism, broadly speaking. But this is what's so fascinating about the Philippines is that it kind of foreshadows this decolonization.